Liam, good to see you. Just to give us your thoughts on, on that 90 minutes, it looked like a pretty physical, attritional game out there. Yeah, hard fought point in the end, uh, I think. Uh, a couple of decisions what may have gone our way. A um, couple of chances where we've nicked the ball off in and around the area. Could do a bit better, but I think we take a clean sheet and, and, and the point and move on. I've got to ask you about Modu Sugu because obviously that was a real moment of concern, wasn't it? He was down for such a long time, eventually stretched off. Um, have you seen him? What, what's the latest that you can tell us on uh, Modu? I think he's uh, been rushed straight to hospital. Um, don't look like, don't sound like a nice one from what the uh, medical staff are saying, so we wish him a, a speedy recovery, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of the actual game itself, I mean, you know, it, obviously we've made seven changes for this game. Good to see you back in the starting yeah. lineup. What does it say about the strength of Sheffield Wednesday's squad that we can come to somewhere like QPR, relegated from the Premier League, and get, as you say, a hard-fought point, having made all those changes? Yeah, it's great for the for the club, and, and, and the manager's got some, obviously, decisions to make, and, and if he wants to freshen up the team, he, he can do, and like we've shown at Newcastle, and, and again tonight, that if he does make five, six, seven changes, that it, it we're all ready and, and wanting to chomp, chomp it at the bit to uh, stake our claim, really, yeah. And how much confidence does it give you going forward? I'm beaten in seven now. There seems like there's a real momentum with the whole of the squad and they really are buying into this project. Yeah, I feel that um, we're solid as a unit. We, we're, we're hard to beat um, and, and we, we, we defend right from the front. Uh, it starts with the two, whoever's playing up front, the two strikers, one striker and we attack from the back and, and that's that can give you extra energy going going into the game and, and almost give you that 12th man if you're all together and, and, and connected, so yeah. And it's another real sprint of fixtures now, isn't it? Because we've got Rotherham uh, on Friday night live on Sky and then of course you've got Arsenal in the Cup, another live game on Sky and then two more at home. I mean, you know, how do you sort of manage yourself to make sure that you're all fresh as much as you can be for, for these games? No, I think, like you say, they're coming thick and fast. They always do in the Championship and obviously if you get a little run in the Cup, but... Like you've shown tonight, I think it's for the manager to, to then freshen the team up, keep the boys obviously ready and, and with the training and, and balancing that and doing the right things uh, to recover. And when you're called upon, you, you're ready and you feel strong.